right, there should be a review already up for this hair, which is my Steema hair from um, AliExpress. So, that's not what this video is about, though. This video is a topic video, and it's about, I will name this video, I will not apologize, okay? And the reason for this is because I feel as if a lot of people want you to apologize for being successful these days. And what I mean by that is success is measured by different people in different ways. Some people think success is a lot of money, a lot of cars, a lot of homes. Other people think that success is being having a great spiritual base. A lot of people think successful is being all of the things that I just named plus so much more. But for me, I think that a lot of times people become very envious of you when you are successful in any facet of the world. And a lot of times the reason why these people feel like this is because they're not in the same boat as you. Recently, I've had issues where I've had people that I knew and I didn't know kind of start to feel away, you know, towards me. And I ain't do shit but do what the fuck I'm supposed to do, which is succeed in life, you know. And I feel like when you start to succeed in life and you start to do things that are great and they're benefiting you and you're not hurting anyone trying to get there, you're not climbing on anybody stepping on anyone's toes, but another person will see that and because you're making that much more effort that they're not making, they start to look at you as the enemy, as the person, as the issue. And it's like, I'm not the one with the problem, you are. I thought we were supposed to do this together. I thought we were both supposed to be talking about how successful one another is, not you're having an issue with me because of this or you're seeing my success as an issue in our relationship or our friendship or whatever the situation is. And I want you guys to understand this. Sometimes people are for a season. Sometimes you grow up with people. Sometimes you meet people uh, a year and then you're not friends with them anymore. Sometimes family members have to be cut off because I will not apologize for being successful. I will not apologize for doing the things that I'm supposed to do. I have been through a whole lot. I have come across a lot of people who've been through a lot worse than me. Um, I have come across a lot of people who have had it better than me, you know. But one thing that still seems to remain with a lot of people that I see is just very constant is the lack of effort and a whole lot of complaining. And I feel like, listen, we all go through shit. We all have issues that we have to work on to become better, a better us. But if you're blaming the world as to why you are not moving, you are the problem, okay? Because when all is said and done, no one gives a fuck about your sad little story. And I, that sounds harsh, but that is the world. No one gives a fuck about why you're sad. Nobody gives a fuck about why you don't have money. Nobody gives a fuck about why you were sick. Nobody cares. This is why when you have a job and you're sick as a dog and they call you and say, are you coming in? And you say, well, I don't feel good. And they like, so you still coming, right? They don't care because there's a job. There's a goal for them that they need to meet that involves you. So are you going to be down or at all? So I want you guys to understand in life, things do happen. And in life, you go through a lot. But you also have to understand that a lot of times you cannot just sit back and let the world snatch you by your ankles and drag you until you can't breathe. Sometimes you have to get out of being, woe is me. Sometimes you have to get out of, oh, I'm in a very bad situation and nobody cares. And, and nobody probably do care. But you have to care because I can't give a fuck more than you. She can't give a fuck more than you. So what do you want to do? Do you want to be a victim or do you want to be the hero? Do you want to? Because see, what the thing is, I find a lot of times people get upset at the fact that you are thriving so well that they have such a big issue and a problem and they find a reason to say, well, I don't really like you because you this. Or a lot of times what I do find with a lot of females with myself is that I have the girls who fuck with me hard and they you know I see y'all on the street and we pound it up and we laugh and we act stupid then I have the girls who say they don't like me because I want to be them and I'm so jealous of their lives but watch me and the reason is because they feel some type of threat 
understand this. I am a man and I will always be a man. There is nothing that I can do that will become a woman to make me more of a woman than you. So there is no threat there, okay? So if you feel comfortable in your drawers, mama, there is no other person, intimidated or not, that should be able to fill your shoes. That's why I don't feel a way when women come at me like that. Because I don't feel no type of way. That's not what I'm trying to do in the first place, but you feel a way. You know, it's like when a person say, she thinks she cute. No, you think she cute. That bitch is over there mind her cute ass business, bitch. And you pointed out something that we all seen, you know, because you feel threatened. So don't let another person's success and um, how they're thriving and the way they're shaking and moving in this world to deter you from what you're trying to do. Okay, what you're trying to do is what the fuck you trying to do. You stay on that. You stay that focus. These people are out here winning. They mad because Black China doing this and Emma Rose is doing this and the Westbrook girls are doing this and they don't do nothing but lay on their back and Kim Kardashian ain't nothing but a hoe. But see, the difference is I don't give a fuck about how you got it long as you get it and you didn't hurt nobody on your way up to get it. Because the way I like I said in the beginning of this video, the way you measure success is not the same for everyone. So therefore, I don't give a fuck how successful you think I am or not. Understand that my success when I do receive it is going to be the shit. And if you have an issue or a problem with that, that's your problem. Again, that sounds like a personal problem. And the immortal words of Ms. RuPaul, what you feel about me is none of my damn business. Okay, so therefore, a lot of you guys have to understand if you see a person succeeding in life and they're doing great things with them, their self in life, give them a clap. We talked about this before. Give them a clap, but don't allow somebody else to say that you're wrong for being successful or you should apologize because you did the work and they don't want to do the work. That's that I can give you a pound and give you a piece the fuck out because I'm not going to sit up here and go back and forth with you. A lot of people, a lot of grown people have this problem and it's like, so you're mad at her for what? I bet you, you sitting at your desk right now wishing you was laying on your back with Ray J so you could be living in a multi-million dollar mansion. And I'm not saying how she got it is the way to go, but I'm saying she's there. And for you to have an attitude about it, bitch, what do you have? And sometimes it cannot even be a financial gain of what she has. She probably got a peace of mind because she ain't got no bills. Every month you still worrying about bills. Hello. Okay. But you can't be, I don't, I wouldn't, if I was her, I wouldn't apologize either. If I was in the arrest book, I would not apologize either. It's life. And you have to understand, you have to get in the game, play the game and play your position. The best position you know how to play. And then you're going to become something successful. But when you, you so worried about what this bitch doing, how the fuck are you worrying about what you're doing? Okay. I can't, I can't text and drive. I have to pick one. Do you want to text or do you want to drive? Because when you try to do both, it usually turns out to be a big mess, a problem, an accident. And that's not what you want. So learn to stay focused on you and don't apologize for being a great person and doing what you're supposed to do in this world to become someone better. Okay, a lot of people want to stay complacent and what they're so used to doing. And then when you start passing them by, they want to say that you change. I have changed. I become a better person. Okay, a person who's supposed to go forward and have goals in life. Not a person still sitting here complaining about what was me and what happened in 1999. We're in 2000, almost 16. Why are you still there? Okay, catch up. It's a problem. So, yeah, do what y'all do. It's a new year coming. If you had a goal to do something, do it. And if anybody else is telling you, matter of fact, fuck that. If Don't even tell nobody. Just do it and then share, okay? Therefore, you don't have to worry about nobody trying to crush your little dreams, okay? No matter what it is, I don't give a fuck. Whether you want to go natural or you want to buy a BMW, do it. It's your business. And keep your business your business. Stop sharing with every person, especially a person you know who doesn't have any goals, about the goals you're trying to achieve. They're not going to understand, okay? They're not going to get it. So on that note, I will catch y'all in my next one. But again, treat yourself like the treat yourself as your biggest fan, okay? If you love Beyonce, love yourself that much more because that way you're gonna be able to get to a level where you see yourself in such a light where you're proud of yourself. Don't allow nobody to dim your light because they're insecurities. Because people will do that. Misery loves company. Okay, peace.